This is Dr. G. What if I told you there was a simple and safe way to prevent most of the common diseases that plague us, or even rebuild your health if it's already damaged? And what if I added in, your doctor doesn't even know anything about this? It's inexpensive, and you can do it at home. You may have seen before reports that hyperthermia, or raising the core body temperature, is used to treat many cancers. That's because cancer cells don't tolerate extra heat as well as normal healthy cells. So they found that you can heat up the body and it will kill cancer cells without killing the healthy cells. Now in the United States, you probably haven't heard of this therapy because here our medical system only allows for the development of high profit cancer cures, at least for the most part. That's because of the influence of the good old FDA and the drug companies. But in other countries, especially in Germany, this type of treatment is used quite a bit. Now another treatment that's rarely used is when a person has an infection that antibiotics can't touch. It's either resistant or just overwhelming infection. And what they would do is inject a pyrogen. That's a fever-inducing substance. Now this can cure the infection where nothing else worked. And hey, that makes sense. A fever has a purpose. Never thought of that? Now excessive heat also causes the activation of heat shock proteins. Now heat shock proteins act like armed guards to escort proteins in our cells so they can fulfill their functions under stressful conditions like excessive heat. Now, heat shock proteins also send an alarm call to the immune system to attack viral or bacterial invaders. Now, even though the function of heat shock proteins is only partially understood, preliminary research suggests that they help the body with both bacterial and viral infections, heart disease, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, and possibly many, many more. All right, now to take advantage of this new information, I want everyone this summer to set your thermostat to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 32.2 for you Celsius people out there. All right, now for those of you that you can't do that because of family arguments or the boss doesn't want the office at 90 degrees, I can send you a PDF, and this is free of charge, now this instructs you on how you can deactivate the automatic off switch on the door of your microwave. But the downside of that is there's only one small body part that you can shove in there. But I'll have a website out for that PDF soon. Now an alternative is you could do what I do. Now what I do to heat myself is I use a near infrared sauna. Now this is the safest and best way to elevate your core temperature for a therapeutic effect. Not only is it possible to get the health benefits that I just talked about, but sweating in a sauna is a superb detoxifier. It removes heavy metals and other metals, toxic chemicals, drugs, radioactive particles, or any other toxins that are in the body. For this reason alone, I try not to go even one day without a sauna in this toxic world. Now you can find out more about the health benefits of sauna and the particular type of sauna that I recommend on the website naturalfoodsdiet.org. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.